Want the fastest way to learn sweep picking? That's what we're covering today. By the end of the video, you'll know the three fundamentals that I give my students in order that they learn sweep picking much easier. Let's define sweep picking by defining what other picking is first. So normally we do alternate picking, which is down up. And then if we cross strings with alternate picking, we keep the alternate picking going. So if I do down here and then go to the E string, I'll do an upstroke there. Sweep picking economizes your picking by doing the same pick stroke either down across strings or up across strings. For example, let's use the arpeggio that I used in the intro of this video. It's an A minor seven. So A, C, E, and G. And then we brought it back down to C again and G again. So the whole thing was this. As you can see, I can alternate pick that with no problem but to gain speed on that is really tough when you're alternate picking. And this little arpeggio, I think is by far the one you should start on. It's worked best for me and my students. You're gonna get all kinds of opinions on sweep picking, but this one gives you three notes up and three notes down. So it's very symmetrical and you can start to develop some of these fundamentals and not have to think about the arpeggio too much. So we're gonna be pushing down towards the floor. And when you sweep pick, you do not pick like this. You can see I'm actually individually picking the notes. With sweep picking, you don't want to individually pick those notes. You just want to create rest strokes where we're going to push the pick through. Here's what I mean by that. If I hit the third string here and then go through it, then I'm resting against the second string. Then I go through that one, I'm resting against the first string. And then when I get through that one, I've made it through the three strings that I'm trying to sweep pick, and now I'll turn it around and go back up. And I am leaning the pick a little down in this direction, the top of the pick, in other words, towards the floor so that I get through the strings easier. I don't want to lean back because it's going to get hung. So I angle the pick down towards the floor and it gets through the strings easier. On the way back up, we go up to the 15th fret and we're now we're going to pull the pick through the strings this direction. Still doing the rest stroke, but this time in an upward direction. So I start out on this G note here, 15th fret, pull through to the B string. Now I play the 13th fret, which is C, and rest against the third string. And now I'm playing the G one more time. Here's the whole thing together. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. I really like the arpeggio to start working on sweep picking with because if you were to begin with say only part of that arpeggio and play, play it this way, I am sweep picking there but I have to wait for that pull off to happen and I also turn directions around to go back down after picking the second string so to me it's just not as symmetrical as beginning with three down and three up. And you can think of it this way too, if you're pushing the pick through and trying to get a nice even stroke, I think of it as kind of the paintbrush motion. To me, it gets through the strings a bit easier that way, and that's exactly what I'm doing on a small time level. The second thing you want to think about is keeping the fretting hand notes down and then lifting them off after you have picked them. So in other words, You can see I'm lifting off of those notes. The arpeggio would sound bad if I didn't lift off of those notes and mute them as a result. Listen to what it would sound like if I didn't lift off. It ends up running the notes one into another and the whole point of sweep picking is to play individual notes. We may be playing a chord here, but we're arpeggiating and we want to hear the individual notes, not them bleeding together. That may be the trickiest part for people is to simply get those notes to mute. Once you get it down, it's really not that hard to use when you sweep, but there is a learning curve to it. So you want to go through really slowly and make sure that you're getting 
the notes separated. The third thing you want to consider when sweet picking, at least for me, and all of these things are my perspective, of course, you're going to find a lot of different opinions on this, but I don't so much move the wrist when I sweet pick. I move the arm a little bit like this and go up and down. Okay, so when I play the first part of the arpeggio, it's a small movement, but you can see my arm started up here and ended up down here. And then same thing on the way back. So it is more of an arm movement. And lastly, kind of an extra bonus tip. Those three things are what you primarily should consider. But this little thing here I, I wanted to mention was I do touch the edge of the strings with the fleshy part on the side of my thumb as I pass the note. And that helps mute things out. So. It's never perfect, but I do notice it on some of the notes that I'm going by. So I'm doing a little bit of palm muting and a little bit of side of the thumb muting to make sure I don't have too many things ringing and running one into another. That's it. That's what I give my students, a basic A minor 7 arpeggio to work on. It's very symmetrical feeling, and they can work on the three points, the doing the rest strokes, lifting up the fingers to make sure they don't ring, and then also making sure that you're moving the arm to achieve the sweep as opposed to wrist motion. If you enjoyed these tips today, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help my channel and subscribe if you will. If you want to support the channel, a free way to do it is by shopping through the Sweetwater affiliate links down below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps support my channel in a small way. You can also shop down below the video here and get Society of Guitar shirts as well as Guitar Fanatic shirts now available. If you want to be a part of the Patreon community, it's at patreon.com forward slash Paul Warren Music. All my tabs go up there for not just my long form videos, but also all of my YouTube shorts and Instagram posts. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments at all or questions, let me know in the comments below and I definitely will respond. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>